Over 1,400 kilometres north of Perth, Sheila Plains is a privately run cattle station in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back. We are deep within the Ashburton, and we're here at Sheila Plains. Today, we're going to explore the Beasley Gorge and the Beasley River. But not only that folks, we're also going to get into some night lapse photography, because this is one of the best places in Australia where you can get night photography. And I'm very confident we're going to get some spectacular shots. So let's get into it. different going into the gorge today. Can you go further than that? If the road's open, um, you'll just have to test it out. Um, I've got the map there. You drive in there two k's and you stop and you walk in 150 metres to the wall. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. Cheers, we'll do. We have the key to adventure. We've got our map, we've got our information. Let's get on in there. Now the next stretch is going to be spectacular. The tracking can be a little bit rough, corrugations. A couple of washouts so don't go too fast obviously. Drop the conditions. So what can you expect at Chila Plains? Absolutely spectacular camps with spectacular views. This is camp for tonight. Absolutely beautiful spot. Now I've camped here at this exact location before. That's the Beasley River. We're up on the riverbank. That is the riverbed down there. Now, last time we camped here, the river rose overnight, silently, and nearly caught us out. We had vehicles in the water, we had swags in the water. This is what happened. And not only did the river rise, all the insects and creatures that were down in the riverbed had to go somewhere. They were fleeing for their lives and they were looking for survival. So they clung onto our swags, our tents, our ground sheets. So when we were packing up in the morning, we found all kinds of stuff. We still have a couple of hours left, so let's go exploring. And then we'll come back here later and set up our night lapse. Can't wait. I reckon it's gonna be epic. Even with these clouds around, we should get something. Back in the Pilbara, Ronnie's solo adventure continues. Right, so this is what I want to show you. I just learned this today from Robin from Chiller Plains. You can see we've got dark rock, we've got a bit of light rock, and then there's this definitive line in between. Now that is the first direct evidence of the great oxidation event. A fair way back, millions of years, oxygen became the dominant gas on the planet, which then allowed us mammals to thrive and actually rule the planet. We're now coming up to Muscle Pool, and we lowered our tyres earlier. We're down to just 30 psi from 40. This just prevents us from getting bogged in the river stones because it um, can get a little bit boggy if you're turning around in the tight corner. Right, check this out. I've seen a lot of birds coming in to Sheila Plain. Now just up here, there's a little fella who keeps ducking in and out. Wicked sounds in the morning, wicked sounds in the evening. Anyway, 
Let's go to this other water hole before that sun goes down. Yeah, it's been a good couple of days out in the Pilbara and I'm in desperate need of a bit of cooling down and a bit of a wash. Oh, this is nice and cool. Definitely one of my favourite parts about the Pilbara, the Shire of Ashburton in particular, are the beautiful gorges and the water holes. You couldn't ask for more. It's when the Beasley River really flows, that's how high I can get. This is my favourite time of the day to be driving. Just that twilight time. We've got a lot of fire, getting nice and warm. And then we've got to set up a time lapse and check out this beautiful sky. That is the priority. As you can see here, I've got a very extravagant setup. I'm a bit of a astro photography nerd, I guess you can say. Now, most people can actually do this just with a DSLR and a tripod, but this is what I'm gonna to use tonight, and we're gonna get an epic star trail by this tree over here. I'm gonna sit back, and enjoy my billion star hotel, and if you guys want to enjoy that too, well get yourselves up here to the Ashburton. Alright guys, I'll see you next week.